I, I come in first, I was a student of Chris Christensen <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> right, he was right. the pioneer that uh, worked with China even before there were formal relations between Australia yeah. and China. I think it's very, very, very good collaborations. Mm. Uh, I mean, FAST is the biggest task group, um, uh, and of course it's very busy. So also, sort of FAST has this uh, peculiarities. Uh, it's already big, so it's uh, unlike any uh, conventional antenna or telescopes in order for it to move and point to somewhere you essentially have to move uh, uh, close to a thousand uh, panels and each is the size of a normal room so 11 meters on one side so first found uh, lots of uh, pulsar candidates and some of them are in the southern hemisphere and uh, we, are, we, we have parks so we can do the confirmation and follow-up observations for fast uh, it's very efficient and productive to send it to our colleagues, particularly the Parks Telescope, who has been doing this for decades. We start the cooperation uh, uh, from the SK project uh, with Australia uh, many uh, many decades ago, and China has the FAST uh, as a, a, another concept for the SK. And uh, but as a single dish, uh, uh, the largest one in the world, uh, we uh, the FAST can do some complementary uh, observations or studies uh, together with ISCAP, MIR, uh, uh, MWA and also the future SKA arrays. We're also looking into the future. That is the biggest surface, the, big, the most sensitive telescope. And we make some of the most sensitive receivers as well. So marrying the two together, it's obvious that we're going to reach things that nobody else has reached before. So